This episode of Learn Everyday English, your roadway to English proficiency. Glad to have you with me today. I'm in a different uh, location. I'm at the uh, dining room table. Or I can say the dinette table next to the kitchen. So we have a uh, dining room here in the house, but we also have a like a dinette area that's next to the kitchen with a smaller table where you know we normally eat uh, breakfast and maybe lunch uh, here and. We just mainly use the dining room, which has a bigger table for uh, larger gatherings, we say, with uh, people, like for special occasions, for Christmas, maybe Thanksgiving and New Year's, that type of thing. And I uh, decided to change it up a little bit and uh, have another uh, video for you. I didn't have a video last week. I've been kind of busy, kind of tied up, we say, tied up, not physically tied up but uh, tied up can mean busy i've been really tied up lately but there's three things you can do for me remember uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and three tell your friends about it so that they can benefit from these videos too just like you all right um this video um came about came about after I watched a uh, video on YouTube in Spanish, and like I said, I, I'm a YouTube junkie. I just like to watch uh, videos on YouTube in English and Spanish, a lot of Spanish videos. I have a, a playlist, uh, you could say, or I've, I have subscribed to a lot of channels on uh, YouTube, and I'm notified when a new video uh, shows up or is uploaded. And then I like to watch those. So uh, I subscribed to a channel called BBC News Mundo or World BBC World News. Yes, this is in Spanish. And they had a video titled Los Tres Países Que Tienen El Salario Mínimo Más Alto de América Latina, which is the three countries that have the highest uh, minimum salary in Latin America and I found it very interesting and they compared uh, the three countries of uh, Costa Rica, Chile, and Uruguay. So in interestingly enough uh, the minimum wage or minimum salary you could say in uh, Chile which was the highest they said was uh, I'm looking down at some notes here $650 U.S. $650 U.S. per month is the minimum salary in uh, Chile. In uh, no, in, in uh, Costa Rica. I'm sorry, Costa Rica. In Chile and Uruguay had the same uh, minimum salary, which was uh, $550 U.S. per month. So Costa Rica, $650 per month. Chile, Uruguay, $550 per month. I didn't, you know, try to uh, check these numbers, so I'm taking them, we say, at face value. I'm taking them at face value, which means I'm uh, believing what the uh, person in the uh, video said. You know, BBC is a well-known um, organization, so um, I assume they did their homework. And I found it interesting, so I was thinking to myself, hey, um, Gary, what? how does this compare to the minimum salary, or we say the minimum wage here in the United States? But before I do that, let me give you some uh, interesting facts and information that they uh, talked about. And specifically, I narrowed this down to, I narrowed this down just to compare uh, Uruguay and uh, the state of Texas here in the United States where I live to see how the costs compare. So you might find this interesting. It, actually, this is an area or a topic I'm really interested in. I find it fascinating, you know, how much does it cost to live in other countries compared to here in the U.S. because here in the U.S. we live in our own bubble, our own burbuja. 
and we don't really maybe have any idea what other people have to go through, how much it costs to live in other countries, especially in Latin America. And I find it interesting to see maybe how good we have it, how maybe how things are a lot more expensive here than in other countries. And so in Uruguay, it's a country, it's a very small country. It only has uh, 3.4 million people, and this was uh, as of 2021, so it's very small. The, they call it the salario minimo, or the minimum salary is 21,000. 106 pesos in Uruguay, and this is, like I said, $550 U.S. per month. Some interesting facts about Uruguay. They have, the, uh, they have a uh, rate of poverty, poverty that is very low, five, only 5.1%. And the uh, video said this was the lowest um, rate in Latin America. It has the uh, largest middle class in Latin America, which is 60%. But it also has a very high cost of living and uh, they compared the prices in, in Uruguay uh, with the prices in Argentina, Argentina. And the video said the prices in Uruguay are 94% higher than in Argentina. And I know I've been watching some videos about that, that Argentina is having some uh, very serious economic uh, problems or issues and a very high inflation. Maybe I'll do a, a video about that uh, in the future. But in the video, they broke down the costs uh, to live in Uruguay in basically six categories. One was, they call it the canasta basica, which is like the bas basic basket of like food, but they didn't really say what that uh, consisted of. So I'm just going to say it consisted of food. They compared transportation, uh, rent, or you know, housing, energy, and also health and education. So they said the uh, basic basket of uh, food was $390 per month. The basic the cost for transportation, and this was all based on, let me say, all based on a family of three people, like a mother, a father, and a child. So three people in the family. So again, it was $390 for food. Uh, $164 per month U.S. for transportation, $499 per month for uh, rent for housing, energy was $60 per month, and then they said in Uruguay, which is very interesting, and I didn't know about this until recently, that uh, health care is free, and then education is free, even through the university level, although uh, you, they end up do end up paying for this. <clears throat> excuse me, through taxes. And I think Uruguay does have a very high tax rate, but if you go see a doctor, there may be some minimum copays. But basically, they were saying that it it is very little money, so they didn't include costs for health care or costs for education. So then if I add up the four items, the food, transportation, rent, and energy, that totals $1,113 per month. And if you compare that to the minimum salary per month in Uruguay, which is $550 per month, you can see that uh, you can't live or family can't live on the salario minimum or the minimum salary in Uruguay. Uh, unless, say, two people have to work, the both parents, the mother and father, both have to work, and then that equals to close to this $1,113 per month. And this uh, averages out to $13,356 U.S. per year. But that was a, a interesting uh, figure. I thought, wow, a little over $1,000 a month to cover the basic needs we could say of a uh, family of three in Uruguay because here in the United States you know thousand dollars or eleven hundred dollars a month uh, you can't survive so the next thing I did was uh, okay let me check to see what the costs are for uh, 
these four things in Texas where I live. So interestingly enough, in, in Texas we have what's called the minimum wage or minimum hourly wage if you work at a rest, usually you have to work at a, we say a fast food joint, fast food restaurant, maybe like McDonald's, Burger King, and you get paid a minimum wage, which is $7.25 per hour. And this works out to be $1,160 per month. So the minimum wage here in Texas is about equal to the monthly cost of a family of three in Uruguay. So it's about um, we have twice as uh, much as the minimum salary in Uruguay. Then also found some other statistics or data or information. In Texas, they have something we call the cost of living. Basically, how much does it cost to live in Texas? And we have something called the average uh, monthly wage, or at, wage is just like salary. So what does the average person make? So the average person makes more than the minimum wage, because uh, not everybody makes the minimum wage. wage. Most people make more than that. So the average monthly wage in Texas is 4000 $519 a month, $4,519 per month compared to the minimum wage, which is only $1,160. So you can see there's a huge difference between the minimum wage and what the average uh, salary is. But this number is before taxes. So once you remove the taxes, the average monthly, uh, we say take home pay that you actually bring home ap after taxes is, is $3,760 per month. So this is the average uh, take home pay in Texas, $3,760 per month. So let's see how much does it actually cost for these uh, basic items, the food, transportation, rent, energy, uh, health care and education in Texas. Does uh, Can you uh, live on, can a family of three live on $3,760 per month? Well, let me start with the uh, food costs. So the food costs for a family of three here in Texas uh, averages about $867 per month. And that's compared to $390 per month in Uruguay. So food costs uh, about two times more here in Texas than in Uruguay. The next uh, item is transportation. The average transportation cost for a family of three here in Texas is $1,207 per month. In, in Uruguay, it was $164 a month, so transportation costs here are about six times higher than in Uruguay. And I think basically a lot of that has to deal with the public transportation is very poor. Most people have to have a car to get around. So you have a car, you may have two cars, you have insurance and you have gasoline, so that's very expensive. Okay, the next uh, item was housing. The average housing costs here in Texas is $1,446 per month. And in Uruguay, housing was $499 a month. So housing here is about three times more than in Uruguay. The next category was energy. And here I just included like for electricity and water. In Texas, the average cost is $132, no, sorry, $200 per month. $200 per month, and in Uruguay, energy was $60 per month. So in Texas, uh, we're about three little more, three times more than Uruguay in energy or electricity and water. Then uh, health care, like I said, in Uruguay is basically free. The BBC video didn't... Uh, put a cost figure for health care, but here in the U.S. you definitely need to have health insurance. If not, I uh, heard stories that people got sick, didn't have health insurance, and they went broke. They went bankrupt. People had to uh, spend their life savings. Some people had to live in their car. So it's very important to have health care. 
And here, what I did, I went and looked at uh, where I used to work for the city of Houston for a family of three. The average cost is about $600 per month in health care costs for a family of three. And then education, like I said, in Uruguay, it's free. Here, it's not. Because uh, if you have a house, you have to pay your uh, property taxes, we call it, once a year. And included in the property taxes are taxes for the school system, school taxes, which I use an average of like 1%. The average price of a house here in Texas is about $300,000. So the average cost for education, just basic, uh, based on only this factor, not college or anything like that, is $250 per month. So if you go to college, you know, college can, is very expensive. It can be five, $6,000 a semester or uh, up to like forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year, depending on what school you go to. So uh, I just took uh, educational costs based on uh, property taxes for the school districts for like elementary, junior high and high school. That's $250 per month. So if I add these six things up for uh, Texas, which was food, transportation, housing, electricity, water, uh, health care, and education, the total monthly costs are $4,363 per month that a family of three needs to live compared to $1,113 in Uruguay. So the monthly cost to live in Texas is about four times that in Uruguay. So a lot of people say, um, hey, I want to come to the United States. I'm going to make more money. And I'll make a whole lot of money, but it costs a whole lot more. It costs a whole lot more. more you need more money to live, we say, here in the U.S. to live here in Texas. So the grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence. That's an expression. The grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence if you're just looking at money because in order to live, you have to, well, I've heard people come from other countries and yeah, there are benefits, but they say, I, I'm working all the time. I don't have any free time. In a lot of other countries, Latin America, uh, you have maybe more free time. You can spend with family and friends. Life, the life, the pace of life is slower here the pace of life is very fast, it's very hectic, and things cost more, so you have to make more money. And it helps to have a good paying job. So if you come here, say for example, you don't speak English or you don't speak English well, you don't have uh, maybe good skills, abilities, you're not going to be able to get a good job, and you can't make it here in the United States uh, working for minimum wage. Um, unless you have to share the cost with a whole bunch of people. So this is what I found out. It costs about four times as much um, to live here in Texas, $4,563 a month versus $1,113 a month in Uruguay. But of course, you know, these aren't really apples to apples, but it also made me uh, think that that's why you know, a lot of people in the U.S. are looking at when they uh, reach retirement age or a lot of people before retirement age, hey, it's too expensive here in the United States. I can move to another country. I can move to Mexico. I can move to Colombia. I can move to Peru. I can move to Ecuador. And I can, I can live much better if I can take my U.S. dollars. I can maybe work online, get paid in U.S. dollars. And if I can earn three, four thousand dollars a month U.S., I can live very comfortably in a lot of countries. So a lot of people are doing this, but I know it's creating problems, and there's a term called gentrification that is causing a lot of problems in uh, Latin American countries. Uh, the cost of living, the cost of housing is increasing, where the people that live in these countries now are, can't afford it in certain neighborhoods, and they're getting pushed out they have to move. So it's a, uh, we can say it's a two-edged sword. It's a two-edged sword. It has benefits and it has disadvantages. The people that come, you know, they spend their money, hopefully, in the country, in the cities that they move to in Latin America. 
they create jobs, you know, people, they learn maybe take Spanish classes and things like that, but they also create problems. So I don't know if it's a good or bad situation. So let me know what you think about that. And that's what I wanted to talk about today is uh, comparing the cost of living in Texas and Uruguay. So is this something that you knew about or is this something that kind of was surprising to you? Did you realize how much more expensive uh, things are in the United States? And here in the United States, you know, this doesn't include other things, especially like child care. Uh, child care is very expensive. If your child is not school age, like going to elementary school, you have to put them in a daycare, especially if both parents work. They can't stay home and take care of a baby or young child. And you have to take that child to a daycare. And the average cost for a daycare is $1,000 a month per child for each child you have it's one thousand dollars per month so it's very very expensive to have children here in the united states and typically the family is not as close the family unit you may not have a, a mother an aunt or a niece or somebody that can take care of or watch your child so you you're forced to pay for child care so let me know what you thought about this video. Leave me some comments in the uh, below on this video. Okay, well, you know, uh, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and tell your friends about it. We'll be bringing you more videos like this in the future. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Learn Everyday English, and we'll check you later. Goodbye.